the Nimrod was a, a figure that knew Hashem. He knew Hashem. And he started to rebel against Hashem, trying to make himself God. But he knew he cannot defeat Hashem. But he knew something else. He had a different strategy. He knew that he can conquest the consciousness of humanity to enslave people to worship him. So what he was trying to do is to disconnect humanity from Hashem and to make himself God. So usually what, they're doing, what he was trying to do is to remove Hashem from controlling human history and trying to claim that he is the one that's controlling human history. Avraham Avinu uh, had a fight with him, culture fight. It's, uh, it's not something new. We have it nowadays. It's the same thing that uh, we have now. And um, if, if, you don't, if we don't know how, uh, how uh, um, we're dealing it, uh, with that in our generation, I'll show you that basically we're dealing with, this, with the same point, with the same problem. People worshipping people instead of worshipping Hashem. And, um, and uh, that's what uh, Avraham Avinu was trying to reveal to humanity, to have a direct connection with Hashem, to worship uh, Hashem. It's the same fight with Moses and Pharaoh. Pharaoh, used to, to, he took the same path of Nimrod with the pyramid. And Nimrod was trying to build the city and the tower. The city, it's a circle. And the tower... Just like a tower, okay? It's a male and a female in, in, in a way. That's what they think. Uh, that's the way they, they look at it. And basically, the strategy was in order to conquer the, 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 the um, uh, human consciousness is by covering themselves with um, good intention, good inclination to donate to humanity and to do uh, good things. But the tower inside the circle basically are trying to um, have a strategy of, of, of um, defeating any, any government and any country and trying to, to conquest humanity, have a different in inclination, different intention altogether, bad intention, to enslave humanity. But they're, they're not being recognized by humanity as an enemy because... They're covering themselves with good people, just like the Masonic uh, uh, order uh, nowadays. It's the same thing, that they're operating in the same method. Uh, they, they learn the strategy from the Bible. They have a different translation to the Bible. They claim that, that not, not uh, uh, God gave the word of the Bible, but rather ancient people from ancient time, that they kept secret inside the Bible how to conquest humanity. And that's a male and a female. The female, she is beautiful, she, is, uh, she, is, she looks nice, so that's a circle. And the male is supposed to be inside, just like in the, I mean, in the, that's what their analogy. They're supposed to be, they, 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 she, she's covering the bad intention, bad inclination of conquesting humanity. Um, they, um, they thought any, any cult around the world teach the same thing. Begin with the same teaching. And um, um, I don't know if you ever heard of uh, the Bill, um, what's his name? Uh, one of the big lecturers, uh, Kupel, Bill Kupel, if you heard about him, is um, a, a lecturer in, in America that been, got murdered by the New World Order. And he was saying he was able to reveal the story by telling that that basically Adam and Eve was naive under the control of faith in Hashem. 
And here come the snake, Lucifer, and he gave them the consciousness and the intellect how to become the God of humanity. So there, the, 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 I'd say, the turn upside down, good and evil. Okay, uh, the, the way they view it, and they, they take they take evil, the evil side, and they claim that the evil side is the is is the good side, and and the opposite. Um, any 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 person that read the the uh, literature of the Mason. Albert Mackey and Manly P. Hall know that they wrote that Lucifer is God. And Adonai is also God. But the God of the Bible is a God of darkness. That's what they say. And the God, uh, Lucifer, is also God, is a God of light that operating for humanity, while the God of the Bible, according to their teaching, is operating against humanity and the main principle is to believe in Lucifer. So if they want to depopulate humanity, whom do you think that they want to start with? Obviously, the people that are worshipping the God of the Bible. So that basically the um, I'd say the source of anti Semitism in, in their literature. That's what, we, that's what we, we, we were able to find out. That's uh, uh, Albert, uh, more on dogma, uh, Albert Pike. Um, now, the, 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 the fight starts with Nimrod and Avram Avinu. We took a side of Avram Avinu, but they took a side of Nimrod. Same way, the pyramid of, of uh, Pharaoh and uh, I don't know if you if you if you know the scripture that's saying that basically Pharaoh is a, the alligator of the Nile, and in any alecha that's what that the uh, prophet Isaiah uh, uh, say, that that saying that uh, the Nile is mine and I made myself. Because he made, made himself God, just like Nimrod. Moses was fighting him. The same path, the same, same fight, same culture fight throughout history. We read the Bible and we, we, we don't really see why um, David and Goliath, it's the, same, it's the same fight, but it's the same fight, it's the same principle. Goliath have his own view about, about life. He thought that Nimrod and Pharaoh are right. And he was on the, on the dark side. And we took the path of David Melech. But they, it's, it's, it's an ideology. It's, um, it's, not some, it's not only uh, just um, uh, a fight uh, um, uh, who, who have more, more muscle, who is strong than, than the other. But that, that it was a fight between a culture fight between the two different uh, point of view about life. Same thing with uh, Nebuchadnezzar, Melech Babel, Nebuchadnezzar, with his tower, the Babylon Tower. Same ideology, and Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, he threw them to the fire because they didn't want to worship uh, um, the statue of Nebuchadnezzar, which is a human statue that putting. Humanity before God, and uh, um, the Bukhanetzal used to control the world, the entire world, and, and all the all the nations have to send their uh, um, messengers to uh, bend before the statue of the Bukhanetzal. And Hanayam Mishel Vazaya was not willing to bend to the statue of the Bukhanetzal, therefore, he threw them to, to the fire, and God saved them, made a miracle, and saved them. Even Daniel, Daniel was not in, at that time in, in Babylon. He, he was sent to Egypt because Nebuchadnezzar used to worship him after being saved from a, a lion cage. So he made him his God. He used to bend before that Daniel. So he didn't want, he knew that Daniel would not bend before his statue. So he sent him 
to, to, to buy, to purchase pigs from Egypt for the kingdom of Babylon. And so at that time, and, and that, that's a way that the Nebuchadnezzar thought of how to save Daniel. But basically, Daniel came back and he saw the statue and he asked to kiss the statue. And he climbed with a, a, a letter to his mouth and he pulled out the tzitz of the Kohen Gadol that used to be in, in his mouth. And because, because, and because of that tzitz, the statue used to speak and say, I am the Lord your God that took you out of Egypt. So after a few hours that he took the tzitz out of his mouth, then the statue fell down to, and, and become you know, a dust. Um, and that, that's the, the way Daniel used to, to fight that, that ideology, by um, deceiving the evil forces. Deception. And same thing, um, Yaakov Avinu used to deceive um, the deceive the sav that representing the snake of 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 uh, of a uh, garden of Eden. That's the way the Zohar presented. Like, uh, uh, Jacob was Adam, Rebecca was Chava, and it was incarnate incarnate incarnation of Chava, and uh, she took told the. She told uh, Jacob, I like Khabni, the curse is upon me. Don't worry, I brought the curse in heaven upon you. Now let me uh, fix it. And, and if, in case that you, you're gonna, uh, you, your father is going to recognize you, that you're trying to deceive him, I'm taking upon me the curse. Trying to fix the ancient sin that the Rabbi Shion Why? Because. The Mida Keneged Mida, Midotasha Gloshbuch, Mida Keneged Mida. Now, the same fight is going on throughout human history, and we're confronting now the New World Order. We're confronting now the same city and tower, the same ideologies that want to create one world order, one world religion. Uh, one world court uh, and um, an army, um, and basically the Rabbi, uh, Arizal is saying that the same souls came back in our um, generation because it's the final stage of Achit uh, Ayamim of the end of time. So in our time, in our days, there is. Um, the uh, flood generation that exists here, the same soul, uh, that, uh, and, and the generation of Zdom Amora, and the generation of Enosh, generation of Shalom uh, Shlomo, Bon Appetit. Um, so basically, there, it, it's, a, it's the sum of human history. But not only the bad forces, but also the good forces. So, if we understand there is a balance between good and evil, so there must be uh, a good souls that, like the souls of King David, souls of Samuel, souls of Abraham, souls of Isaac and Jacob, also in our generation to change the path of human history instead of destruction self-destruction to redemption. I just want to remind you that the good forces is much stronger than the bad forces. So I, it's like 500 times much stronger than the bad forces. So we're going to talk about the evil forces, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to make you fear them, but instead uh, um, have you uh, recognize them and be knowledgeable about them what they're trying to do and, and achieve. But then we must know that the, um, the redemption is being promised by Hashem to the nation of Israel and, to, and to, the, to humanity by the end, through the nation of Israel, through the Messiah of, of, uh, and the nation of Israel. Now, basically all the idols worshiping in our generation, take Christianity, for example, 
the worshiping human being claiming that uh, uh, a human God exists. We don't believe in, in, in a human God, and therefore if, uh, if we see in our generation uh, people that really worshiping their rabbis, it's also become, I would say, uh, um, a type of uh, idol worshiping. We have to uh, recognize uh, um, that we have to, that the Messiah, the concept of the Messiah, let's say, I'll ask, I'll ask uh, you know, uh, a rhetor rhetorical question. The Messiah is the most perfect human being on, on human history because he's fixing the ancient sin of Adam and Eve. So, is he God? No. And if he, if he, if the Messiah is not God, according to the to the to the philosophy of, I'd say, the the thought of, of Judaism and the Bible, then no human being on earth can be God. And um, and uh, if so, then we have to understand what is the Messiah. The Messiah basically is a uh, like the sec secretary of 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 of, of uh, I'd say of the government of. Uh, of Hashem, that taking the kingdom from humanity and basically saying, okay, did you see what you have done throughout human history with the kingdom? It's not belong to humanity, it's belong to Hashem only. And then Hashem Elech, Hashem Allah, Hashem Imlach Olamad, He's bringing back the kingdom to Hashem and the glory to Hashem to uh, control for everlasting. So there is no scripture in the Bible that's saying that the Messiah is a kingdom for everlasting. There is only uh, um, uh, uh, scriptures that can say that the, 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 the Messiah, the King, uh, the Messiah King, is only a uh, king temporarily. Is a is a is a um, say nasi, uh, 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 not, not, a, not a prince. It's a president. But he's not the king. The king is only Hashem is the king because his job is to basically to take the kingdom from humanity and to bring it back to Hashem only. And Hashem is the kingdom. He is a, he is a king for everlasting. Um, now, in uh, 1776, uh, they, you know, first of all, the, the Illuminati of the ancient time of Nimrod. Somehow we, we lost track of what, what happened with that. But we know one thing. We know that when um, uh, Am Israel went out of Egypt, then Pharaoh left, uh, left Egypt and with, the, with uh, all his uh, kingdom and they moved to Nineveh, Mesopotamia. And he was a king in Mesopotamia and then from there he, he went on to Europe. So we know that the kingdom of Europe, basically, and Rome have something to do with Egypt. They have a connection, um, um, the same, uh, same root, same route, the same. Um, and all the, um, let's say, the empire, the Rome empire have a connection with, uh, and that's what the Midrash is saying. When Solomon the king um, got married with uh, the daughter of Pharaoh, then Gabriel um, took a stick and he uh, stick it in, in the ocean and then um, the kingdom of Rome rises from the ocean. Which is, uh, and, and by the end of time, what will happen is uh, Michael the angel will take the stick and then Rome is supposed to drown in the water and all the treasure that uh, they took from uh, uh, the world that they exist in the, in the basement of the, of the uh, and the, of the um, uh, Vatican, uh, including the tools of the Temple of Jerusalem, will be um, will be found in in Yafo. And that's the um, um, let's say Yamsuf, Moshe Rabbi Yamsuf, that just like we we had in Yamsuf, uh, um, uh, many gold and silver. The same way it's supposed to repeat itself because. That's a, it's a principle. 
everything that we want, if we want to know what will happen in the future, we have to look to Egypt to see what happened. It's a principle of the Bible. Uh, that's what uh, uh, Navi, the prophet Micha, is saying. Um, just like in Egypt, I'll, I'll show the nation of Israel miracles the same by the end of time. Um, so we, ha- we know that we're dealing with the same Sitra Acha, with the same evil forces of Egypt, because the miracles will be the same. And uh, if you open the book of the Mason, Freemason, and the Bible of the Freemason, and the translation of the Bible, the way they translate the Bible, they worship the God of Egypt. The God, all the, all the, all the drawing that they have there, same thing. They, they worship, I don't want to say the name of the, their gods, but basically they're worshiping the same God. Was that Lucifer also in Egypt? Or that was after? Um, it's, a, it's a different name to the same Trinity. To the one of the Trinity, the the, the middle Trinity. You want, you want to say to say the name? I'll say the name. Yeah. Osiris. Okay, Isis, Osiris, and Horus. So those three gods. That's a Trinity. That's that's a base. That, that's a the, the foundation of Christianity. Basically, they rely on the so Trinity the of Egypt. The, the name change in Rome, but basically the Paganic religion, it's a Paganic religion that basically worshipping the, the lamp, the lamp, the goat, the, the same, um, if, you, if you ever saw the, the Bethlehemet um, drawing, the way they, they draw uh, the devil, it's a, it's a, it's a goat. In Egypt, uh, they, okay, I, I will say it just for us to learn, so uh, they, their, their mythology is uh, the set murder of the prince of Egypt, which is uh, Osiris, and he tears his body part and he throw them all over Egypt, and his uh, sis, uh, sister, Isis collected all the body parts, but he, she couldn't find the um, um, the other parts. Okay, and um, a miracle happened, and just like in Mickey Mouse, all the parts become together, and he rose erected from the dead, and she got uh, pregnant from him, despite the fact that she couldn't find the, those body parts, and. Um, then uh, uh, the Isis deliver uh, Horus, which is a uh, sun god, um, sun, de, uh, sun, de, no, sun god. Um, 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 it's, it's, um, it was uh, on the 25th of December, and it's um, a virgin birth. So uh, basically the foundation of Christianity is from uh, Egypt. Same thing with uh, another religion, the Hindu Hindu religion. That they believe in three gods: Brahma, Shiva, and Vishnu, uh, the Creator, the Preserver, and the Destroyer. Destroyer to build, to rebuild. Build back better. Uh, what? Build back better. Yeah, to build. <laughs> <laughs> Batata. <laughs> and um, the mid god, which is uh, Vishnu. Um, Manifest himself as a human being. His name is uh, Krish, no? and the other god is Christos. Krish, no? same sound. Trinity, Trinity. In India they call it Trinity. In 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 America they call it Trinity. Same um, thing. They both was uh, uh, was running for their life from their own um, tribes and people, and both was crucified. Krishna, 900 years before Christ, on the cross, and then he rose erected from the dead after three days. He was with his disciples, 12 disciples, for 40 days, and then he ascended to heaven. Same thing, it's a photocopy, transformation of culture. 
basically um, the source of it is from Nimrod. That's why I'm mentioning, I'm mentioning it because it's the same principle of uh, Tammuz. If you heard, ever heard about the idols worshipping of Tammuz, they claim that the virgin woman got birth from the sun, um, from the sun, from the sunlight. And she delivered Tammuz, the god of, uh, the, the sun god. It's the same thing. Virgin birth, repeat itself. That's a pattern, stands of the devil that repeats itself throughout human history. There is another religion, um, uh, Mitra. Mitra was born, was born to a virgin on 25th of December. Um, same story altogether. Um, that the ancient time. Uh, so basically, if we're going to find, uh, we're going to look for a uh, hum human god, there is a million, million people that claim to be human god, like Hercules, Horus, Osiris, Hercules, uh, many, many others. You, can, you can, can go on with the list. Um, unfortunately, we think that we are not worshipping human being. That's what that we have to recognize that we have to make a tshuva on uh, uh, worshipping uh, people. Um, and that's why we have, uh, we have a trouble here in our generation because we tend to obey with no question. No, we don't doubt the authority of certain people, it doesn't really matter who, and um, we don't ask questions. And uh, instead of uh, Digging and finding, just like we learn Gemara, we have, we have, we we ask all the questions, and we have to search for the truth. Or, 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 or suddenly, in, in certain certain subject, we tend to be blind and say, "Okay, the Holy Spirit, Holy uh, Ruach Hakodesh," and um, and that's it. We we don't we don't uh, ask questions, even if it's against the Shulchan Aruch. Even if it's against the Shulchan Aruch. For example, the Shulchan Aruch, Kuf Nun Hei, Siman Kuf Nun Hei is saying that we're not allowed to be um, healed by a, a doctor that's worshipping idols because he's um, suspected for murder. And that's uh, Yosef Karo. Okay, that's a Sephardic uh, halacha. Okay, what, what about the Rama? Rama is saying, okay, but if he is losing money by poisoning other people, he's going to lose money, then um, we are allowed to, he won't lose money for that. So we can, we are, we are allowed to take medicine from him. But the, for example, Pfizer, I'd like to show you one thing. Uh, one uh, uh, little, now we are talking about uh, children, uh, to, to vaccinate children between the ages of 11 and 5, and that's the main subject here nowadays. And I'd like to start with uh, Robert Mellon, Dr. Robert Mellon, that uh, basically invented the mRNA. What he have to say is, do we think that, do we think that uh, um, uh, a rabbi, uh, what is his name? Uh, um, uh, uh, not, not, uh, the Kanievsky or uh, Chacham Shalom or uh, Adelstein, uh, they're relying on the Rabbi Führer. Rabbi Führer can argue with uh, Dr. Robert Mellon. Um, well, I think that uh, he's not entitled to argue with, uh, with the people that, uh, a person that invented the mRNA, mm -hmm. and he's not, he doesn't even have a, a, a doctor degree, he's not a doctor. And he cannot write a prescription. If he, he will write a prescri prescription for you, he will be in jail because he's only a, a, a businessman. Askan Rifui is not a doctor. And, uh, as, and even a doctor is not enough. He needs to be a, a researcher of vaccine over 20, 30 years at least. And especially when he argue with the uh, inventor of the mRNA, um, he doesn't have the credit to, to deal with, uh, but but uh, the uh, unfortunately the Haredi community rely on Rabbi Firer, that doesn't have the, um, the credit 
uh, to, uh, to deal with, uh, with the subject. So let's take that uh, for example. I think it's clear enough he is uh, stating it and declaring it uh, without uh, even uh, hesitating and risking his life for it, uh, over it. Uh, there is a I want, what I want to say is basically they, they start to operate already to depopulate humanity. And the question is why they want to depopulate humanity? Why, where did that intention come from? Well, uh, first of all, uh, the eugenic is a theory that existed in Greek. And they, they thought... Um, they thought that uh, people that handicap and, and old people that not um, uh, that not uh, helping human society and being um, uh, a burden on humanity, they're supposed to throw them from the rock to 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 die because um, they're they're not helping uh, humanity for survival. Um, so even Aplaton and Aristo was talking about that, and um, afterward Darwin was saying that as well because he was saying in, in his book when he wrote uh, uh, Moza Minim, um, his book he was saying that uh, a mercy will not hold much because uh, um, we are only a type of uh, animal. We came from the ape. We no, we came from the heap. So, if in the jungle, if if we, Darwin, Darwin, I'm sorry, I'm an Israeli, so I'm not I'm not saying it right. Darwin. Um, so basically, he was saying that uh, since we are a type of an animal, and in the in the in the jungle, the strong survive and the weak are supposed to. And so basically it was saying that um, um, the mercy is not natural. And uh, just like uh, when, when we look at, the, at nature and the lion uh, doesn't have a mercy over, you know, uh, other type of, of animals and you have to, um, you have to, to eat, shosheret amazon, you have to, to eat. And in the same thing, uh, we have to, depopulate the weak because we are causing a human being basically are harming nature by causing um, global warming because they inhale oxygen and pollute CO2 and because they're using um, um, freon and causing uh, uh, the uh, UV um, to uh, penetrate, uh, you know, the atmosphere, and, uh, and cause we, we're damaging nature in a point of no return. Okay, um, and we pollute with the siyatit, the industry revolution. We cause a lot of pollution, and um, we eat nature. Uh, the gasoline running, we are running out of gasoline, and and basically we have to. Uh, there is uh, six different, um, let's say, uh, uh, physical, Hoke uh, Physica, law of physics, that if we change it from 0 0.06 to 0 0.05, then there is no life on, on, on the planet Earth. And uh, we are base, uh, we, if you want to preserve the condition of life on planet Earth, then we have to depopulate humanity. Now, uh, Bill Cooper was, uh, was inside. He was um, also a, a secret, uh, used to work in secret services. And then he, after 1992, when uh, uh, the nations signed in Brazil Agenda 21 for uh, a solution, uh, Bar Kayama, Pitaron Bar Kayama, you said, uh, sustainable, sustainable uh, solution. Then he um, started to give lectures around the, uh, around the country in, in America and was saying uh, that um, for the mafia, for the elite, it's hard to control um, 
eight, uh, eight billion people, so we, they have to depopulate uh, humanity. It's, it's hard to uh, control them, hard, hard to uh, give them uh, their needs, to support their needs, because it, so they will be happy and not rebel against the elite. So, um, uh, so it's, uh, they have their own reason why to depopulate humanity. Now, when I, when I say that, then, then people, uh, people keep telling me, you're, you're, um, you're telling us uh, conspiratiot and you're a cons cons consp conspirator, okay? Uh, I'd say that um, I have a clip of the Russian um, general, but it's not in English. It's um, in Russian translated to Hebrew. I hope some of you can read Hebrew and uh, understand what he's saying. He's being asked, what, uh, what do you think about the pandemic of Corona? And he's uh, telling that uh, basically his answer is, uh, it's, um, it's the elite that want to depopulate humanity. When is the video from? What? This video from uh, the uh, Russian TV. Yeah, but what, what year? Like beginning of Corona. Beginning of Corona. And um, year year and a half ago. I got it. Yeah. And then um, yeah. he was saying again. He knows what's going on. <laughs> yes. And he was saying uh, that uh, um, that the elite have a problem with uh, growth of of population. And they want to um, to have a balance and give uh, nature um, more um, to have to have a balance. So they have to depopulate humanity, and uh, uh, they want to control the rest to live only billion people and to control them. And the the mafia that the, the elite are a hundred million people. That's what he was saying, and um, that's their uh, that's their game. They want to control. Uh, Humanity for everlasting, for the entire uh, them, them and their families. Вот как вы с этих позиций можете оценить явление коронавируса? Его нужно оценивать с точки как понимать как глобальную стратегическую специальную операцию. Это командно-штабные учения мировой за кулисы по владению полным контролем над человечеством. Так вот, мировая закулиса, в своей основе это финансовая, в своей цели имеет сокращение населения Земли. Это... They want to depopulate humanity, that is their... Шигаун. Еесис. У нас людей, обычных людей на Земле, по их мнению, слишком много. Их должно быть... The, gro the growth of humanity is, um, you know, uh, is very fast, too much. And uh, they, they, they are about a uh, hundred million people, and they want to the the the, the, bil the billion people that they're gonna. No, no, him, him, a man million. They are hundred million. Yes, yes, yes. They are hundred million. Yeah, in China, in Russia, all, all over the world. Yeah, well. And and they they want to to leave uh, only billiard people to serve them and to they want to control them. So they have their own way of how to, how to do it. And basically, basically the corona that we think that um, happened a, pan, a natural pandemic, it's uh, it's being done on purpose, it's being it's being designed as well. And um, okay, so. И самих еще в обслуге максимум миллиард на земле. Поэтому коронавирус и водимся почти сразу за ним финансовый кризис, они неразрывно связаны друг с другом. Первое. It's uh, their, their, their temptation started with the September 11th. It was the first temptation to take over the rights of humanity. And then they started, just like the Zohar Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai mentioned, that the era of the Messiah will start and um, right when uh, two uh, big towers of Rome are going to fall down. And it's being mentioned by the Zohar. Um, let me go back. Uh, 
Now, we want to be on the side of uh, Avraham Avinu. We want to be on the side of, uh, of uh, Moshe Rabbeinu, okay? that uh, Hashem saved him from uh, the sore of Pharaoh. We want to be on the side of, uh, of uh, Hananiah, Mishael, Azariah, Daniel, and not on the side of uh, Nebuchadnezzar with the, the, with the tower. And just to mention something biblical, I would say that it's mentioned in, in the book of Daniel, the New World Order. In, how, how exactly it was mentioned in, in the, the Bible? What's the term that the Bible speak about about that? Um, Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar um, had a dream, and he dreamed something, and he didn't want to reveal to his uh, advisors or to his uh, witchcraft that used to to consult him. Uh, what's the dream? Not like Pharaoh that uh, used to tell uh, their advisor Chaltumim, Chaltumim Mitzrayim, the 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 dream, and he asked for a solution. No, but Nebuchadnezzar decide to do something very uh, evil. He got them killed because they couldn't guess what he what he had what kind of a dream he had. And when they couldn't give a solution to a dream that they didn't know, so he got them killed. And, um, and Daniel had um, inspiration from Hashem. And he knew the dream. And uh, that, that's the way that uh, Nebuchadnezzar knew that uh, the solution will be the right solution. And God told him, you are the, there is a statue of a human being, but God is revealing to you the kingdom that's going to control humanity from this moment, from this time, of you as a controller of of, uh, of, uh, of, of the globe till uh, the coming of the Messiah, till the end of time. And you are the golden head. But then uh, another kingdom will come and will conquest you. And it's, uh, um, and it's uh, uh, the Persian, the silver, um, the, yeah, the silver um, um, uh, kingdom. Iranim? Uh, no, not Iranim. It's Iranim, it's a, it's a different... Iranim, uh, no, 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 it's not. Um, <coughs> Iranim, is, it's, a, it's a Muslim. They're, they're, they're a type of a Muslim. Uh, they claim... Okay, they claim Iranian. 1939, they recognize themselves as the Aryan race. So they change from Pers from Paras to Iran to claim Iranian. I'm, I'm not going to get into it, but they don't they don't claim that they are Arabs or Muslim. They claim that they're um, Malachite, uh, bar barbarian from, from Bavaria, Ger Germany. Um, but um, they the, the the real Persian was um, Zoroastrianism. It's a different uh, religion altogether. As Zoroastrianism, they, they believe in two different gods, good and evil, dark and two different kind, type of gods. Is it uh, the same in Puri, uh, the same Persian? No, no, no. Here is a, a, a proof that I'm right. Haman was a Malachite. How come the, in Persian uh, Amalek exists? The, the, the point is that they, they, they had a journey from Bavaria, Germany, uh, to, um, to, to India. And this par part of the bar Bavarian uh, race uh, left over in, um, in uh, Paras, and then they, they went, out to, went on to India. Um, that's uh, 3,000 years ago. That's, that's a uh, story of... Uh... But anyways, uh, um, what, we, what we were... We were talking about, um, well, got me confused. <laughs> the statue, yes. Um, thank you very much. You're going to remind me of everything? No, I'm going to read it. Ah, okay. If I keep forgetting because of the questions, then <laughs> try to remind me where I'm, sta where I'm standing. Um, so, another, another government, another uh, um, kingdom will come right after the Persian. And it's uh, the Greek, and then after the, the Romans, and the, and the, uh, the, the feet 
long just like the exile of Rome is long and uh, the the feet the the fingers of the of the of the foot will be some of them will be um cheres and I'll just say cheres um, yeah. yeah. ceramic ceramic and part of it will be iron and they don't uh, stick together it's just like a part of it it's a ismaelite that worshiping the stone and part of it will be the iron, which is the room that uh, <coughs> destroyed the Temple of Jerusalem. And Kharshu et Bet HaMikdash Machrashot Shel Barzel. So God is showing you that the end of time, by the end of time, a stone will be um, uh, pulled out of a, of a mountain and being thrown on the feet of, uh, of the statue and the kingdom will be given to the holy nation which is uh, Am Yisrael. And uh, that stone is from Mount Zion, which is kingdom of, uh, of David HaMelech, and being thrown on that, the Messiah. Okay? And the kingdom will be given to... So what exactly you have inside that golden head? Inside his golden head, his thought was the tower, just like the pyramid, just like the city of Nimrod. Uh, the city and the tower. Same ideology to uh, to control the world and to become God and to um, to um, remove Hashem from the center of uh, human history. Um, let's take a look about on, on that interview. Robert, they want to abuse the fact that our concept is uh, the, the Second World War which in, 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 in Europe uh, about, the, about the Holocaust. So we have to be to think out of the box, out of the metrics, in order to really understand what they're doing. Because if we, we're not, not going to be uh, aware, mm -hmm. then uh, they're going to succeed with their plan. Hopefully Hashem is writing on their plan and uh, will ruin their plan and and save humanity that's it's by looking the finger of uh, of hashem which is the messiah to turn um, uh, the human uh, history course to uh, redemption instead of destruction but uh, we have to be aware of it we have to be aware that we are in a trouble and if it's as we if we're going to recognize that we are in a big trouble then just like in egypt uh, Shamati et Sakatam by Skorat Beriti. Hashem is saying to, to Moses in the, when he revealed himself in the bush that uh, I heard other scream and uh, I, I remember my covenant. So go to Pharaoh and tell him, let my people go. Ko Amar Hashem, let my people go. It's same, in the same way the Messiah will do. The same thing. I'm not saying it on my own. I'm saying it because the Ramban, the big Mekubal of the ancient time of the 800 years ago, was saying that same same thing. That the Messiah will do the same thing that the Moses did in Egypt. He will go to the Pope in the Vatican and tell him, "Let my people go." And the question is, the Pope in the Vatican is a prophet. Who is he? Is nobody. Uh, yeah, but we have to realize that there is another Pope, Black Pope, which is the head of the Mafia, the, of the World Mafia. And um, yeah, he is uh, the controller, the real controller, and uh, real control of, uh, of uh, the Israeli government, because we are under the control of the Vatican. I don't know if you know, but uh, they already took over. The, the, our leaders are prophets. Of, uh, of the uh, CFR, Constant Foreign Relation, which operating with uh, Vatican and the uh, Bilderberg Group. What do you mean when you refer to Black Pope? Again? Again? You said the Black Pope, what is that? The Black Pope. There is another Pope that... Uh, okay. Um, I don't, I don't recall his name, but I, if you want, I can give you the name after, because people keep asking me and I'm... You know, um, I, I was asked like a month ago about the name. 
So I was digging for the name and I gave him the name, but I, I don't uh, recall the name now. But I can tell you that he is um, the Jesuit order, the Jesuit order in the Vatican, there is a white order and a black order. Why do I know that? More than most of the population here in Israel, because I was, I, I had a, I had a debate with a monk in the, and I had a debate. He read my book in, in, in English. Um, that's my book. At the gates of Rome. On sale at the foyer afterwards. And um, <laughs> I'm not. It's a, it's antibiotic. It's antibiotica for. For sick people, I'm not uh, <laughs> much selling. Uh, but he read it, he took it from Amazon, and then he asked to um, meet with me for a debate. I was able to pull him out from the monastery. He used to live by my house for two months, and he became a Haredi. Um, and um, he told me about Jocha Bergoglio, and about, because he used to study with him in Argentina for 33 years uh, in a monastery. So, um, he also came from Argentina, and um, that's how I know the circuit of the Vatican, through him, uh, by uh, living by my house and uh, my children, with my family, for two months. Uh, if you want to see it, I, I might be able to show you, to show you the, the, the monk, and uh, maybe not, and, and him before and after, and me giving him some... So I, I can show you that if you want, if, if it's uh, exciting for you. Where is he now? Yeah. Um, he basically is, 